from Television City in Hollywood, the Jack Benny Program, with his special guests, Dan Daly, Kirk Douglas, Fred McMurray, Tony Martin, and Dick Powell, presented by Lucky Strike. This is glamorous movie star, Rita Gann. Know what I'm doing? I'm studying my chess. It's an interesting thing about chess. One move can mean the whole game. That's why I'm so careful with every move I make. I like to sit and smoke and really think it through. The cigarette, by the way, is Lucky Strike. I like its clean taste, nice aroma. It's my cigarette every time. Rita Gam's reason for smoking Lucky Strike is the same one that many millions of other smokers give. They like the taste of a Lucky. And here's why a Lucky tastes better. It's right here on the pack. It's toasted. That's the famous Lucky Strike process that brings Lucky's fine tobacco to its peak of flavor. The process that tones up this mild, naturally good-tasting tobacco to make it taste even better. Well, that's our story, pure and simple. A Lucky tastes better because it's the cigarette of fine tobacco. And it's toasted to taste better. Cleaner, fresher, smoother. So to get better taste from your cigarette, Lucky Strike is the brand to get. It's toasted to give you the best taste yet. It's the toasted cigarette. Thank you. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Lucky Strike program. As you probably know, this is my second TV show of the season. And those of you who saw my first show two weeks ago will probably notice that, uh, that tonight I'm a little more at ease. You see, I'm, you know, uh, it's working up to a first show that makes you so nervous. The, the anxiety, you know, you worry about what the what the critics will say, I mean, what they'll write about me and everything. Well, anyway, it's over, and now I'm relaxed, you see. I... <laughs> I mean, the, the reviews came in, I read them, I burned them, now let's forget them. <laughs> Although I must say that I did get some very exceptionally good reviews on my first show. As a matter of fact, I saved some of them to read to you here from different towns that I, excuse me just a moment, these are contact lenses, lenses, you see, you keep the paper right up here, right up here. <laughs> probably the silliest thing I'll say today, <laughs> but these reviews, here's one that I got from the bi-weekly chronicle from Storm Center, Iowa. <laughs> It says, on Jack Benny's first television show, once again, this master showman romped his way into the hearts of millions with his hilarious performance. Well, it's kind of nice, I think. And here's one from the Daily Bugle from U-Turn, Nebraska. It says, Jack Benny's first television show that has long been awaited by the citizens of U-Turn was welcomed with hearty laughs and much merriment. Here's one from the uh, New York Times. <laughs> now, here's one. <laughs> here's one from Whistler's Bend, Montana. <laughs> it says, Jack Benny, through the medium of television, came a rompin' and a stompin' into Whistler's Bend with a rootin' tootin' half hour of rip-roaring entertainment, Yahoo! <laughs> Yahoo must be the name of the editor or something. <laughs> oh, here's one from the Chicago Herald American. <laughs> You know, I'm not one. <laughs> you see, I never like to, to influence critics. But I must say that 23 years ago, when I first went on radio, 
I was so anxious to get a good review in the papers that I sent each critic a dollar. And after my first show, they were all very nice to me. They not only returned the dollar, see, but they send me bread and canned goods. <laughs> Oh, that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> but now tonight, getting back to my show tonight, ladies and gentlemen, you know, as, as uh, much as I enjoy doing this show, I am anxious to get home because tonight at my house I'm having what we call a jam session. See, we have a lot of fellows who live in, our, in my neighborhood and we all play different instruments, you see, and we meet once a week. And tonight we're meeting at my house again, you see, and I'm the leader of the orchestra. And, uh, of course, when I was a kid, you know, I, I didn't know, really, for my musical career, I didn't know which instrument to take up. So, in order to, uh, to help my father, you see, I took up the violin, because at that time my father had a combination tailor shop and gypsy tea room. <laughs> nice to play and make a little money for him, you see, in between. But anyway, getting on with it. Oh, Don, Don Wilson, Will you come out here, please? <laughs> Don. Don, did you, re uh, you know, did you rehearse, go through the number that we prepared for the commercial, the one that I was talking about this morning? Jack, I've been thinking it over, and I feel the same way about it I did this morning. I don't want to do it. <laughs> <laughs> what? What did you say, Don? I certainly don't want to do it your way. I won't do it. <laughs> Look, Don. Wait a minute, Don. You see, you have a contract with me, and you're supposed to do the commercial any way that I want you to do it. Oh, but Jack, the whole thing is so ridiculous and embarrassing. Don, believe me. Will you listen to me? I've been in, I've been in show business many, many years. And I know that a commercial must be <coughs> unique and different and entertaining. Now, you go and get the props. Oh, well. <laughs> You know, ladies and gentlemen, I don't mind being a man being stubborn, but when he's fat and stubborn, <laughs> I mean, that's too much. I mean, I've had more trouble with Don over commercials. I've never seen anything like it. This All fellow will right, not... Jack. All right. Let's do it and get it over with. Don, it's a commercial. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Take If you want better taste, come to say the rest. He strikes it. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Take it again. No, no, take it again. If you want better taste, but you say the rest. I think this energy is going to strike it. It's the one to get. Keep going. It's the one. Keep going. Now, Don, come back here. Now, look at it. <laughs> really, it wasn't bad. The audience loved it out there. You know? Well, I guess it was all right. <laughs> you guess? Yeah. Don, you were wonderful. I don't know. How do you know? Maybe tonight a star is born. <laughs> With you, it could be the Big Dipper. <laughs> Mr. Benny. You know, I mean, you don't have... Oh, oh Mr. What? Benny. What? You want him on the phone. Here? Yes. Excuse me a minute. Yeah, right along, You can Jack. take it right here, Mr. Benny. In the studio. Uh -huh. There you are. Hello? Hello, Hello. Mr. Bain, it's Roger! <laughs> Rochester, I'm right in the middle of a monologue of my show. What did you call me for? Well, I was thinking about your friends who were coming over for your jam session, and I was wondering what you wanted me to serve. Well, I don't know. What have we got in the icebox? Well, there's... Two turkeys, three hams, a 12-pound prime rib, and 10 pounds of imported caviar. Rochester, all that wonderful food in our icebox? Boss, we're on a party line. Let's impress them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, Rochester, prepare anything you want, or I'll be home at 8 o'clock. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, the boss sure gets excited about those jam sessions. Well, he said he'd be home at 8 o'clock. Yep, that's what he said, 8 o'clock.
Here I am, Rochester. <laughs> Did any of the gang get here yet? Oh, don't worry, boss. They'll be here. I'm just straightening up, fixing the music stand. All right, fix up all the music stands and the music. I want to tune up a little bit. I'll fix some sandwiches. Okay. Hey there, you with the smog in your eyes. <laughs> Hi, Tony! Hello, Tony Martin! How are you? Hi, Martin! Hi, man! Got the old instrument out. Oh, yeah, Jack. I got the music and everything, all the new arrangements. Oh, in wonderful, Jack. I'm so happy. You know, I wait all week for these jam sessions. Yeah. I can't wait. I've been practicing like mad. Mad! Yeah, well, me yeah. too. Good. Tony, what kind, what kind of a clarinet is that? I don't know, Jack. Must be a good one. I was offered about 150 bucks for it. Only 150 bucks? I was offered $3,000 for my violin. <laughs> now, wait a minute, Jack. Who'd ever offer you $3,000 for your violin? Everybody in the neighborhood chipped in. <laughs> You mean to tell me, Jack, when you play, everybody in Beverly Hills can hear you? Some of the money came in from Anaheim, Susan Cooper. <laughs> Rochester, will you do me a favor and go get the sandwiches? Yes. Oh, boy, boy, oh, boy. I need a new read. And I feel awful dry, Jack. Real dry. Tell me, how's Mary? Oh, huh? she's fine. I haven't seen her for a long time. <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, Mary, Mary's going to be on my show pretty soon. Yeah, you know? that's good. That'll be just great. Here, here comes somebody else. Yeah, yeah. I guess the guy is coming. Hey there, you and the dead. Hey, Fred! Oh, wait. Hi, Fred. Hi, Fred. How's the bike? Say, Fred. Listen, Fred. I got a wonderful new arrangement for our number that we're going to do tonight. Well, you know, I hope so. Practicing, yeah, and yeah. it's going to be a great part for the saxophone. Oh, good. Know? I hope so. I didn't think I was going to get here on time, Jack. I was over at the studio, and somebody sent a script at the last minute. I had to read it. Not much good. I don't think I'll do it. What was the name of it? The horn blows at noon. <laughs> <laughs> the horn blows at noon? Yes, the Warner Brothers wanted to see what it looks like in the daytime. <laughs> Very funny, very funny. I thought so. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, I didn't have a chance to get lunch. Here, I got your part here for you. Oh. <laughs> Just go over this part and see if it's all right, will you? Mm -hmm. See you, Anybody home? Take care. Am I late, huh? No, no, no. There are only three. There'll be oh, a couple. I'm more sorry. Guys. I'd have been here a little sooner. Had a little accident. Did you get hurt? No, I got out of the car just in time. Just in time. Why? What happened? Uh, my Jaguar chased an MG up a tree. <laughs> Everybody has to come in with jokes. <laughs> Piano's out of tune. <laughs> Here. Here's this. Is that my part? That's your part. Well, here. don't rush me. Don't rush me. I'm a little tired. been okay. shooting all day. I want to relax a little bit. On this accident. <laughs> 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 Somebody else. Somebody else is coming. 
Jack, how are you? Almost everybody's here now. Okay. Hey, Jack. What? Jack, I've been looking over this arrangement, this new one. Mm -hmm. I don't see any part in it for me. I mean, this da 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 da. What kind well, of part? Well, Fred, look at no, that's you see that's background music. When Tony Martin takes his solo, Tony has the solo. <laughs> I can handle it. <laughs> that's beside the point. What? The point is, Jack. Last week you told me you were going to make a new arrangement, and I would have the solo. Well, Fred, it, it you know it just it just didn't work out that way. I see. <laughs> Fred, what are you doing? I'm going home. <laughs> I'm a movie star, and I'm not going to be humiliated like this. Fred, Tony, you talk to him, will you, please? Now, listen, Fred, I know how you feel. You can have the 12 by soul, but please put your horn together and join us. Come on. Well, all right. <laughs> I think we ought to play the arrangement just the way it's written. Look, Tony and I can handle this ourselves. Yeah, we don't need a dancer to tell us what to do, no. you know. <laughs> Thanks, Tony, you're a peach. <laughs> let's play. Why, certainly, let's play something. For heaven's sake. Let's play anything. Jack, I got a yellow one. I got a prize. Yeah. <laughs> I'll tell you who else is coming. I know it must be them. It's from my radio orchestra. Bagby and Remley oh, and John Rice and the whole thing. Come on in, fellas. I know who it is. Come in. Hi, Hi Bagby. Hi, 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 Bagby. Hi,
sponsor if you want better taste from your cigarette lucky strike is the brand to get it's toasted to give you the best taste yes it's the toasted cigarette they take fine tobacco it's light tobacco it's mild tobacco too and it's toasted yes it's toasted because the toasting brings the flavor right through So to get better taste from your cigarette Lucky Strike is the brand to get It's toasted to give you the best taste Yet it's the toasted cigarette Friends, no wonder Lucky's taste better They're made of fine tobacco And the famous Lucky Strike process It's toasted Tones up Lucky's fine tobacco to make it taste even better Cleaner Fresher, smoother. So, be happy. Go lucky. Ladies and gentlemen, if you think we played badly, how about Stanford yesterday? <laughs> Of course, I must say, you know, I, 
it was a shame that I had to pull the curtain down, you know, right in the middle of our number, but I had to do it before the commercial because I told all those guys this was a benefit. <laughs> About it. But really, it was so nice of these fellas, here are five big stars, to come over here and really give their services. They came over here on my show just because they enjoyed doing it and had a lot of fun. So I'd like to bring them back again to take a bow over here. Come on, boys! I would like to pay you all a compliment. You are the lousiest musician <laughs> in my life. But you know, I do think, in all fairness, ladies and gentlemen, the fact that they did come here for nothing, to work for nothing. I do think that somebody... <laughs> yes, Fred, didn't you know about that? They didn't tell me that. Oh, well. <laughs> I'm telling you now. The only thing... I do think it would be fair if just, you know, if somebody went back with something. Now, I want you to forget that these are all big stars, you see. I want you to just consider them musicians, amateur musicians. Now, I'll hold some money. I will hold a $5 bill over each one head. And the Please. one who gets the most applause is a... The one who gets the most applause will go home with the money. Spectacular. <laughs> Every show has a spectac spectacular, so I thought I'd pull, put one on tonight. And uh, incidentally, in about... Um, have I got time to say something? Just a second, because I just wanted to announce that either in two weeks from now or in four weeks, we're doing our version of Cain Mutiny. <laughs> and our guest star is going to be Leo DeRocha. <laughs> Well, anyway, I will be back in two weeks, and be sure to listen to Watch and Southern next, next Sunday. Thank you. Remember one week from tonight on this same station, and Southern returns in Private Secretary. Jack Benny's next television show will be in two weeks. In the meantime, be sure to listen to Jack Benny on radio every Sunday night over the CBS radio network. The Jack Benny program has been brought to you by Lucky Strike, product of the American Tobacco Company, America's leading manufacturer of cigarettes. This is Don Wilson saying, be happy, go lucky.